I know Cool. And Cool's teaming up with a good balanced breakfast. Teaming up with Mr. T cereal. It's getting on the team. The team that knows how cool breakfast can be. You get a crispy corn taste with a touch of brown sugar. Teaming up with Mr. T. It's cool. Teaming up with Mr. T. Golden sweet crispy teas. One bite and you're gonna be eating with the team that's teaming up with Mr. T. It's cool. Teaming up with Mr. T. days of long ago comes a legend, the legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. Five fearless lion robots, Black Lion, Green Lion, Yellow Lion, Red Lion, Blue Lion. Go, Voltron Force! Who together form Voltron. Defenders of the universe. Lion sets each sold separately from Matchbox. Hey, B, no way a little dude like you is gonna change oh. my ways. It's time you were tempted with a taste of nuts and honey. Hulk Hogan doesn't eat nuts and honey. Did you take this? An unbeatable part of this nutritious breakfast? That's better than a body slam. Ooh. Undefeated. And still champion. Ooh. Ooh. It's a honey of the night. It's honey that Cheerios. The Dino Rider is spotted by the evil robots. Take this, young star. You need glasses, Hammerhead. Pick out someone your own size, big eyes. The Rulons on their Triceratops aim their lasers. I'll distract them. Quickly turret from his Styracosaurus fire. Eat rocks, Rulons. Triceratops with motorized walking action. Styracosaurus and Quetzalcoatlus with figures and battle gear, each sold separately. Dino Riders. In 2086, Two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies, courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. about leaving Tarkon is that you never have to worry about being followed. It won't always be this way. I only hope this flying vanity chamber of yours can return me to Tarkon as easily as it got me off-world. <laughs> Don't worry, Maya. You'll get the weapons for your rebel band and a safe return to Tarkon. Or my name isn't Daisy Omega. Just where are we headed? A short jump across hyperspace. A planet called Mesa. Those crates, you bag of chips. Sorry, boss. Daisy, right on time. Chugger, I've brought you a customer. What are you in the market for, Tarkonian? Blasters, tricharges, fission grenades, and launchers. Step over to our showroom. <laughs> now, here's a real beauty. A beta standard issue blaster. 
Yeah, but the Ranger's blasters are only charged for stun capability. These babies have a special override with a fully programmable frequency modulator. Let's see some of this hardware put through the paces. The lady wants a demonstration. Of course you hate target duty. You think I like it? Get going, you rust buckets! the frequency a bit. <laughs> One hundred crowns apiece. Fifty crowns for the lot. Only for you, Daisy. Hey, boss, we got those Annihilator laser rifles ready. Chugger, you sot. You're holding back on us now. Sorry, they're all sold. All sold? To whom? The highest bidder. The treaty with the natives on Mesa has opened the planet for settlements. A beta-funded settlement project is now underway in that sector. But settlers have been disappearing without a trace. Sorry to disturb your briefing, Commander, but we're receiving a deep space communique from Maya. Maya? Patch her into my office screen. What is it, Maya? Is there some trouble on Tarkon? I thought it important for you to know that gunrunners operating on Mesa have been supplying laser weapons to the local tribes. On Mesa? How do you know that? Sorry, Rangers. All I can tell you is that you can find the gunrunners at the last outpost trading center. Be careful. Over and out. This could explain the sudden disappearances on Mesa. Chief Pawnee's people? That's impossible. Doc and I know them too well. They befriended us. They already have death steeds taken from the Queen's Crown agents. It adds up. Not in my book. There's a wagon train full of settlers waiting for you on Mesa. But before you lead that group across the desert, I want you to pay a little visit to the last outpost trading center. Not a bad haul, Chugga. <laughs> you can say that again. Not a bad haul, Chugga. <laughs> you can say that again. Four badges headed this way. Get the weapons out of sight. Morning, Galaxy Rangers. What can we do for you? We're running a special on freeze-dried Yorak meat. How about a Rolox watch? What do you have in the way of laser rifles, Gafto? Why, that sounds like weapons talk, Ranger. But as you can see, we've gone straight. Look around. <laughs> gone straight, huh? You're under arrest. Without a fight, Ranger! Oh.
under arrest for gun running in defiance of league statutes. The Tarconian tipped them off. Why have you been selling weapons to Chief Pawnee's people? They said they needed them to protect themselves against the settlers. What are you saying? Ever since the settlers arrived, a bunch of Indians have disappeared without a trace. Settlers and Indians disappearing. Someone or something is stirring up trouble on this planet. Folks with the Galaxy Rangers riding as wagon masters for this train, we got nothing to fear. Yeah! We'll show Chief Pawnee that he can't keep us from our promised land. Yeah! Put away your weapons, all of you. We're not so sure that Chief Pawnee is responsible for these disappearances. Now hold on, folks. Calm yourselves. If the Rangers think someone else is to blame, then I reckon we ought to give them the benefit of the doubt. Now board your wagons and let's get this train on the move. <laughs> Wagons ho! Can you read those smoke signals, old timer? Well, Captain, I reckon that smoke means one thing and one thing only trouble. Hold up! It don't look too good. A few lone braves won't bother us. Zack! Pull the wagons in a circle. Prepare to defend yourselves! Move those wagons! They mean business, Zack! Hold your fire until I give the order. I'm beginning to have my doubts. Zack, we have to try to frighten them off. Darn, do we do? Gooseman, front and center. Yo! show, guys. But I'm afraid they'll be back for more. We've got to talk to them before they launch another attack. Chief Pawnee has to be told that the settlers mean his people no harm. We'll contact you at 0700 hours. If you don't hear from us by then, I want to return the wagon train to Gatlin. Aye, aye, Captain. Give my regards to Chief Pawnee, Nico, and good luck. Right. Dismount, Captain. Drop your blaster and follow me. We come in peace. Tell your chief that Nico wishes to speak with him. Welcome, Nico. 
It has been many moons since you and Doc visited our village. We have come in peace, Chief Pawnee. My mind reads that your words are true. Then why have you broken the treaty and sent your braves to attack the wagon train? It is your people who have broken the treaty. Many of my people who have crossed the great desert to see the strange towers and buildings of your tribe have not returned. Settlers have also been disappearing. Then who is responsible, Nico? Are the disturbers at work in this world once again? We don't know, but with your help, perhaps we can find out. Galaxies. Ranger Hartford, come here, quick! You ever seen anything like this? What? Like that! Goose! Whatever it is, it's up to no good. is around. Triton, where are Goose and Doc? They were dragged under the sand along with several of the settlers. We have to go down there and take a look. Let's do it. My braves will go with you. desert must be undermined with them. Nico, do you hear that? Sounds like digging. This way. Come on, let's keep moving. Oh. Dead end. Wait, I hear something. Stand back. Maximum stun. Howdy, folks. Is this the way to the pool? Doc. Is Goose there with you? Goose Man along with everyone else who has vanished from the surface of this planet. We didn't get a good look at the thing, but it was big. It just nosed us into a large holding cell. It didn't want to do us any harm. How do you know that it wasn't storing you there until winter? Hmm, didn't think about that. I don't suppose you got its phone number. Well, I didn't want to appear pushy. I think I know how we can coax this creature to come out in the open. All the shafts appear to be grouped around this one. So, by dropping gas canisters into all the openings except this one, you think we can get this creature to surface right here? It should work. The gas is harmless, but unpleasant. The creature's bound to want a breath of fresh air. Let's go to work.
shouldn't be long now. Here it comes! Get back! Get ready! What do you suggest we do now? Take it to the local pound? We have to try to communicate with it. Know someone who speaks Prairie Dog? We can speak to it. With Nico's help. Be my guest. for hundreds of years. This desert is its home, and the caverns and tunnels are its handiwork. It began to capture settlers and Indians alike because it feared for its life. It means us no harm. It merely wants us to find a different route than the one we're using now to reach the settlement territories. I guess Beta neglected to get everyone's permission to settle these lands when that treaty was drawn up. There's no reason why we can't live in harmony with one another. Mesa's big enough planet for all of us. We'll show you a different route to your promised land, so the creature's territory will not be disturbed. I'm glad we found out before there was any more trouble between Chief Pawnee and the settlers. This ought to teach us to ask questions first, so we don't go blaming one another before the fact. If we've learned that, then all this has been worthwhile. Bye-bye. So long, bye. Bye. Kelly, and bye, Kelly, if you think you're getting those corn pops. How's it going, Brian? As in going away without the pops? Are uh, you shopping? Oh, man, she's not moving. Uh-huh. Oh, no, he's not budging. If I don't get that last box with the sweet corn she tanked, man. Absolutely. I'm going for it. Price check. Kellogg's Corn Pop cereal is part of this complete breakfast. Gotta have my pops. Vinny, Moto, Biker Mice on battle bikes with the firepower to stop the evil Plutarchians. Catch this, Carbuncle! Gets me every time. Step his way, Xaxas Vermin! No way, Fist Face! <laughs> grease Biddle, Grease them! Grease this! Whoa! Time to rock and ride! Biker Mice from Mars, Bikes and Figures, each sold separately, new from Galoo. Witnessing a new technology. The first and only game powered by the Super FX microchip. Why go to the next level when you can go light years beyond? 
You are Fox McCloud in Star Fox, only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Eight times more power. Eight times more ammo. Eight times more trouble. Nerf Master Blaster Double Barrel Pump Action Power. Double clutching excitement today when the pole position team races to find the answer to the secret. Am I done with my history lesson yet? Come on, Daisy. We're driving right through Gold Rush Country, and it's an important part of our history. Just think, this place was once covered with gold mines. Exploring is a lot more fun than studying. I wouldn't mind jogging after her. Watch out! Oh, that was close. From now on, keep your eyes where they belong, on the road. This is a public highway, not one of our stunt shows. You're right, Tess. I'm sorry. Something's wrong with the electronic system. Rody, check it out. Let me see. Looks like a loose connection on one of the generators. We'll have to find the nearest gas station. Gas station? <laughs> Lots of luck. All we'll find around here are ghost town. Huh? I think I have an idea. I'm sure you do. Just leave everything to me. Come on, Kuma. You too, Rody. driving that truck back there? Yeah, it just broke down. Where's the nearest town? Well, Vanity is about a mile from here. It has a small garage. Vanity? It's not much, but it's home. I can't imagine you living in a ghost town. <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh, by the way, my name's Susan Nelson. I'm Dan, Dan Darren. <laughs> oh, and this is Kuma. Hi, Kuma. Hi. What about me? Nobody introduces me. What's that? Oh, it's my radio. Must be a loose connection. Oh, wow, this is some car. Did you design it? I sure did. <coughs> uh, well, I, I had a lot of input. 
Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. <laughs> I've got to get that radio fixed. Yes, Dan? I found a town called Vanity. Head back about a mile and take the side road. I'll meet you there. Got it. Hang on, Daisy. We're heading for Vanity. This is Susan. Her father's the mayor of Vanity. Hi. Glad to meet you. Uh, these are my sisters, Tess and Daisy. Dan mentioned how helpful you both are to him. I'm sure he has. Do they have the part? No, they had to order it. It won't get here till tomorrow. I better let Uncle Zachary know we're gonna be late. Okay, and I'll drive Susan home. Nothing serious? No, just an electronic connector. But it has to come from a couple hundred miles away. Exactly where are you located? A little town called Vanity. Vanity. I remember that place. I drove through Vanity about ten years ago. It was a dying mining town then. I'm surprised it still exists. It's far from dying now. In fact, it looks really prosperous. That's strange. Well, keep me informed and have a good time. We'll try. Vanity is sure off the beaten track. What do people do around here? Oh, I guess about the same as any place else. Do you have an industry? Just the gold mine by the lake. It supports the town. A gold mine? Well, I thought it was... Uh, there's my house, the white one. Thanks for the lip. Hey, how about going for a ride tomorrow? Sure, give me a call. Let me see your registration. Here you are, sir. Well, looks in order. You staying in town long? Just till our truck is fixed. You can't park in the city limits overnight. But our truck broke down and we're waiting for a part to come. I'm sorry about that. But we got an ordinance that says no non-resident vehicles can park in vanity overnight. But, Sheriff... You got to move it. Do I make myself clear? What do we do now? We have no choice. A good time. <laughs> Say hi to Susan for me. Come on, we're just going for a drive. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you tangle with the law anymore. I should have been here. I know how to handle them. Sure you do. Huh? Quiet, radio. You know, Kuma, you really are a cuddly character. Where do you want to go? Anywhere is fine. How about the lake? The lake? We can't go there. Why? Uh, it's contaminated. Nobody can go there. It's forbidden. Come on, I don't want to swim in it. I just want to see it. Uh, I don't know. Company. It's 
the sheriff. Nothing to worry about. We're not doing anything wrong. What's the problem, sir? I caught you speeding. But Sheriff Webster, he was only doing 30. Your father wouldn't be happy if he knew you were driving around in this hot rod, young lady. Hot rod! Anyway, I caught you speeding. How about stepping outside? But, Sheriff, really... Just put your hands on the car. That's it. Come on, Sheriff. Isn't this going a little too far? Son, you are in a heap of trouble. Wheels, you're not going to believe this. Is Dan with you? Yeah, why? Well, then, I'd believe anything. Tell Tess we're heading for jail. Well, I'm releasing you. But I'll hold your license until you leave town. What about my car? I impounded it. It's locked up and back. Oh, no. Brody. You really know how to handle the local law, don't you? I can't figure it out. It's like they're doing everything to make us go away. It's as if they had something to hide. Yeah, like a town secret. But what would be so important that they'd want to hide it from everyone? I know. They're afraid we're going to steal their gold. That's ridiculous. Uncle Zachary said there's no more gold around here. Hey, wait. Susan did mention a gold mine. She did? How interesting. Listen, drop me off at her house. I bet she can explain what's going on here. OK. And while you do that, I'll find the mine and check it out. Oh, boy. We get to explore a gold mine. Not you. You better stay at the truck in case Uncle Zachary tries to contact us. How boring. There they are. You want me to stop them? Let's wait and see what they do. Don't take any chances. Do I ever? Bye. No trespassing, private property. I think they're trying to tell us something. Wheels, let's see if you're as good a prospector as you are a driver. Great. I hope your sensors can tell me if there's gold in this mine. If there's any gold, I'll smell it out. Who's there? All right, oh. young lady, what are you doing here? I just wanted to look around. I've always been interested in old mines. And obviously you didn't come here to steal any gold. Of course not. Oh, no. Maybe I better check your car. Fancy finding this gold nugget hidden in your car. Gold? I didn't. You're under arrest. Bone Dan. Hi, Wheels. Daisy, is Dan back? Not yet. What's wrong? Jess was arrested. The sheriff caught her at the mine. Oh, no. I've got to find Dan right away. Chocolate's my favorite flavor. <laughs> mine, too. Uh, Susan, I wanted to ask you about that gold mine. Uh, my father doesn't like anybody talking about it. Why? That shouldn't be any big secret. I mean, if you ask me, something odd is going on here. Do you really think so? Dan! Dan! 
Daisy, what's she doing here? I looked all over for you. Tess is in jail. The sheriff must have planted that gold nugget. But why? It just doesn't make any sense. Nothing makes sense in this town. And the only way I'll get out of here is if I post $10,000 bail. $10,000? That's crazy. I better contact Uncle Zachary. $10,000? I don't believe it. I tell you, Uncle Zach, there's something weird going on here. It seems to me all this is connected with that gold mine. Listen, here's what we should do. Why not? I helped him with it. Look, the coolest here. Get your hands off my steering wheel. See you at the gold mine. I tell you, those kids mean trouble. Don't worry, I've got everything under control. What's that? After the... Lose a meet me back at the truck. Watch my dust. He won't get away. I know these roads. You'll never make it. The curve's too sharp. the next county. I don't care. Stay after him. Well, you're free to leave now. Your uncle sent the money to release you and your car. Great. Welcome back, Tess. I've been waiting for you. Where do we go now? To the mine. Rhody, where are you? I can't shake them off. They know all the shortcuts. Well, keep them busy a little longer. I'm meeting Tess at the gold mine. But how will you get there? Don't worry. I have an idea. You be real careful. Don't you worry, Daisy. I will be. I mean, be careful of my bike. Huh? Race is over. Gotta get Dan. Sheriff, you ever think of going professional? Okay, Darren, I'm gonna lock you up. It's an animal. Hi there, Sheriff. Your game is over. By now, I'll have all the evidence I need. This is a recording. We've been tricked. Those kids are on to us. We've got to do something about the mine. There's only one thing we can do. We're going back into town to get some dynamite. There's got to be a shortcut by the lake. Looks abandoned to me. Sure is dark in here. Turn on the lights. Is Dan here? Nope. You're not gonna believe it, but he's riding my bike to the gold mine. We've gotta warn him. They're going to dynamite it. Oh, no! <laughs> Good. Rody's back. Come on, let's go. <sighs> What's that light? <laughs> The 
dynamite is set to go off, should we do it? We have no other choice, unless you want to spend your life in jail. We must be under the lake. Well, wheels, which way? To the right. Here's wheels. Tess is inside. But where's Dan? You get Tess. I'll look for Dan. See if he took that shortcut near the lake. Oh, wait for me. That'll do it. The detonator's ready. Who's that? It's Starrett. Where did he go? There he is. He ran back to the detonator. Now I'll have all the proof I need. That's what you think. Ugh. It's all gone. Well, the mine is under the lake. It's flooded. I heard an explosion. They blew up the mine. Tess, Daisy, Susan, and Kuma are in there. My sisters and your daughter are in the mine. We didn't know. was stolen 20 years ago. Right. The mayor told us a plane carrying the gold crashed in the lake and sunk. The mayor and the sheriff were the only people who knew about it. They were using the gold to try to keep their city from turning into another ghost town. They meant well, but the gold didn't belong to them. Even though I'm sure the judge will take that into consideration. I hope so, for Susan's sake. Speaking of Susan, look. Uh, see you later. Hi, Susan. I'm so sorry, Dan. Sorry for what? Oh, sorry for all the trouble my father put you through. That's all right, Susan. He thought he was doing the right thing. Would you like some ice cream? <laughs> Before it becomes whipped cream. That <laughs> sounds great. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. What
Forces. It's prime time, enemy. Fire! Sorry, prime. Evil rules. Get him! Yeah, prime's getting pounded. Not for long. Cool and nightmare will nuke you. Oh! Oh! Ultra cool! New Ultra Force action figures, each sold separately. New from Galoo. My beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda! <laughs> Approaching the planet now. Scanners on. Oxygen atmosphere, plenty of water. It looks good, Drone 7. I'm going in. A spacecraft, eh? Is it one of ours? No, mighty Hordak. It appears to be an alien scout craft. Is it dangerous? Scanners show it to be completely unarmed. It seems to be on a peaceful mission. Well, in that case, Trooper, when it gets close enough, Shoot it down! Yes, Master. Charge the freeze cannon! Looks like the Horde's up to something. Well, whatever the Horde is planning, I hope it won't spoil your visit. Uh, me too, Adora. I get little enough chance to see you as it is. Still, that looks like a freeze cannon. What are they aiming at? Something in the sky, I think. What could it be? Drone 7! Drone 7! I am scanning the planet now. Readings indicate excellent colonization potential. Wait! High energy surface reading could be a weapon. Oh! I've been hit! A spaceship! The Horde shot down a spaceship! Sounds like my vacation's over. Oh, I'm afraid so, my brother. For the honor of Grayskull! For the power of Grayskull!
spaceship was going to crash in the polar sea. Yes, and the Horde is sure to go after it. We're going to need some extra help. And I know just where to find it. The polar sea? Oh, there's a long way, Shira. I'd better go with you. I was hoping you'd say that, Mermista. Your water powers will be useful in that icy ocean. Did you say icy? <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. Frosta, I didn't know you'd be here. But I'm glad you are. We surely can use your help. Oh, I was just visiting Mermista, but the Crystal Falls are too warm for my taste. I'll take the polar sea any day. <laughs> Especially with such handsome company. Uh, we'd uh, better get going. The Horde is probably way ahead of us already. Right you are, Himan. We'll ride in Shanta. She'll get us there in no time. <laughs> Polar Sea is just ahead. And there's the Horde. That must be where the spaceship went down. I hope whoever was in it is all right. If the Horde gets them, they won't be. The spaceship is directly below us, mighty Hordak. I am activating the grapples now. <laughs> Waiting for you, tin dolt! Blast them with that freeze ray! Uh oh, looks like Hordak doesn't want us at his party. Evasive action, Enchanta! Blast you, robots of rotten shots! I'll handle this! She'll be out for hours. Now what? Looks like a job for me, Shira. <laughs> there! It's cold, but at least it's not wet. Here come some horde troopers. You and Frosta had better take them, my brother. Mermista and I will go after the spaceship. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful plan. Shira. No time, He Man. Sword to helmet. Come on, Mermista. <laughs> Frosta, I'll handle these robots. Oh, I'm not worried, He-Man. Not with you here. I can't deflect them all. You don't have to, He-Man. Just make a wave. A wave? A wave. Whatever you say. Now for a little chill. Look out, Frosta! <gasps> Are you all right? We missed a couple. Wonder how Shira's doing. There's the spaceship. And that's not all, Shira. 
We also have a horde welcoming committee. I'll handle that robot, Claudette, and you go after that pilot. <laughs> If I lose that ship or its pilot, I'll hold you personally responsible. Yes, my master. The, the, the Claudette will get them. Oh, quite a grip, but not good enough. I only hope that her mister had enough time. the last of them. You were wonderful, He-Man. Just wonderful. Hey! If you could leave Frost alone for a minute, He-Man, we could use a hand. Leave her alone? Why, I... I... We have the ship, but we lost the pilot. I told you I'd hold you responsible, robot. Good. Enchanter's recovered from the stun beam. Is our new friend ready to travel? Well, just let me get this helmet off. Friends, good friends. Oh boy. Are you feeling any better? I think so. What happened? Your spaceship was shot down by the evil horde. Fortunately, we managed to get to you before they did. We're rebels. I'm Shira, and this is Mermista. Frosta and... And my name is He-Man. What's yours? Oh, my name is Sweetbee. Sweetbee? Well, that's a sweet name. But why did you come here? Didn't you know this planet was ruled by the evil horde? No, I didn't. I was just looking for a new planet to settle. You see, I'm a scout for the hive. A giant colony ship filled with my people. We built it to escape destruction when our sun exploded into a supernova. I was sent out to find a planet, one where my people could live. When I saw this planet, I thought I'd succeeded. Guess I was wrong. Don't say that, sweet bee. Your people can settle here, right, Shira? Wrong, He Man. This is not Eternia, my brother. This is Etheria, ruled by the evil Horde. If Sweet Bee's people come here, Hordak will surely enslave them. Then I must warn my people away from here. But where is my spaceship? I am afraid it uh, was captured by the Horde. Oh no! And my people, the whole hive, are already headed this way. <laughs> Well, Shadow Weaver, have you figured out the controls of this spaceship yet? Almost, mighty Hordak. Yeah. Scout three, Scout three, are you receiving? Scout three, this is Drone Seven. Come in, Sweet B. Answer it, Weaver. Right, Hordak. First, a little disguise. And then, Drone 7, this is Sweet Bee. Yeah, Sweet Bee, thank goodness you're all right. The whole...
whole hive has been worried about you. Oh, just a little equipment trouble, Drone 7. Uh, did you say the whole hive? That's right. All 10,000 of us were coming your way. So, what's your report? No, Tordak. 10,000? 10,000 new slaves to do my bidding. Tell them to come ahead, Weaver. Affirmative, Drone 7. The planet is peaceful with friendly people. Come ahead. That is excellent, Sweet Pea. We're on our way. Drone 7 out. Excellent, Shadow Weaver. And with 10,000 bee slaves added to my army, I'll be able to destroy the rebellion forever. the door to the hangar. That's where Hordak will have taken your ship, Sweet Pea. Getting up there won't be easy. But I'll try anything for you, Sweet Pea. I think I know how to get to that door. But first, I want to tell you all how much I appreciate your help. We're glad to help. Yes, very glad. Right, very glad. The sooner you get your ship back, the sooner you go home. need is a ladder. So, one honeycomb ladder coming up. That's our way in. Let's go. What I think we need here, my brother, is a dramatic entrance. I couldn't agree more, Shira. Shira. And he what? Don't we deserve an announcement? Let's show them! Just what I need. Come on, Weaver. Let's go for a spin. Let's showing those robots, He-Man. Uh -oh. More robots. Take it from here. You just get to your spaceship. Right, Shira. Oh, they're after the spaceship, eh? Well, we'll just see about that. You robots want to know how to get this party really swinging? Let me show you. This evil horde is horrible. I must get back to the hive to warn my people. Contact! What? You're not going anywhere, bee brain. I'm going to enslave your people, and you're not going to stop me. Well, I'm going to stop you, Hordak. That's what you think, he man. <laughs> Radio's gone. Rockets are destroyed. There's no way to warn my people. We will become Hordak's slaves. Maybe not. Can you still steer this spaceship? Yes, I still have steering jets, but what does that matter? I can't blast off. You don't have to. Right, He-Man? Right you are, Shira.
There's more than one way to get into space. Are you ready, Sweet Pea? Ready, Shira. Are you ready, He-Man? Ready, Shira. Right then. One, two, three. There goes the hive. I hope they find a nice planet soon. One free from the evil horde. I'm sure they will, Mermista. I just wish I had a chance to say goodbye. But, well, now she's gone. <laughs> yes, she certainly is. But I'm not. Aren't the stars romantic? Yes, I think I'd better cut my visit short. Go home early. Uh, know what I mean? Oh, of course, my brother. I, I understand perfectly. You're chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Creature. With grasping claws and firing jaws. But we can change too into any animal we touch. And when heroic axe changes into a scorpion, Visser 3 is gonna get stung. To save the human race, we pounce like animals. You can make the change. Animorphs. Each sold separately. Transformers! Welcome back to the International Turtle Games. Today's winners are in the hammer throw, track and field, Leo. Wow. Next, it's Hot Dog and Mike tearing up the slopes. <laughs> At the pool, Super Swim and Raft is making everybody else look all wet. And Power Lift and Dawn is making those weights fly. Look out! Oh, hope the turtle games were as much fun for you as they were for me. In the future, mighty dragons and warriors that fly join forces against evil. Their new dragonflies, posable action figures, who pack a secret power, the power to fly. Wow, dragonflies really fly. Dragonflies on dragon launchers, Zenith, Peak, fly them, crash them against the evil Dreadwing. Now I rule the skies. Dreadwing, you're a dead man. Dragonflies, flight is might. New dragonflies, flying action figures with dragon launchers, each sold separately, new from Galoo. to be four ordinary teenagers. Until one day, we met some new friends from out of town. They were called Dinosaucers. My friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space, and joined in their battles against Genghis Rex and the evil Tyrannos. The dinosaurs are leaving, Bossasaur! Well, follow them! I mean feathers. 
I'd bet Jeffrey would notice me. If you had my color feathers, the whole world would notice you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeffrey Osher doesn't even know I'm alive. <sighs> Boys, sometimes they make me so mad. You said it, Sarah. Terex, have you ever been in love? Well, love is different among my kind, but I do hold a special place in my heart for someone. Oh, tell me! All right, but you mustn't tell anyone. Secret Scout's honor! Okay, it's Icky. Icky? Well, that's great. Why don't you tell him? Unfortunately, Icky's far too busy to be bothered with such nonsense. And besides, it would never work. Well, why not? Because I'm an airborne dinosaur, and Icky is a waterborne one. We're just too different for it to ever last. We don't need this anymore. And this doesn't work. <laughs> One of those trashy novels, huh? Quiet, you imbecilosaurus! That book just revealed a truth I would have rather not read. What did it say? Oh. Ah, that I, Genghis Rex, am the first ruler of the Tyrannos in thousands of years, who does not have a mate ruling by his side. She told you back on Reptilon. She made it perfectly clear where her heart lies. With Icky and the Dinosaucers. Yuck, Icky. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> but this is not Reptilon! Your feathers look nice, Terex. Thanks, Icky. I didn't think you'd notice. What is it? It's from the Tyrannos. What could they want? Genghis Rex, what do you want? Listen and listen well. I request the presence of Terex and Terex only at all 100 hours at these coordinates. If Genghis Rex thinks you're going to meet him, he's crazier than I thought. Icky, I have to go. I forbid it, Terex. This could be one of Rex's traps. I must go, Icky. I have to settle the score with Genghis Rex once and for all. Females, they're always late. Hello, Genghis Rex. Terex. Terex, I've missed you. What do you want, Rex? Why this sudden urgency for a meeting? Um, well, this was worn by my mother when she ruled by my father's side. I 
And now I want you to wear it and rule my mind. I told you once before, Rex, I could never be with you. My heart is given to another. Forget me, Genghis Rex, once and for all. You will be mine, Terex! I promise you that! I promise you! Promise you! I must have her. There must be a way. I got it! <laughs> what is it, Genghis Rex? Plesio, it's time to resume your experiment on mind control. If I cannot have a heart, I will have a soul. Terex will learn to love me. She just dumped you for a second time, Bosasaurus. How will you get her to come to you? That's where you come in. All I need is a little bargaining power. Now go! And bring me back that miserable mammal with the long golden locks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Terex hears that Jeffrey finally asked me out on a date. How am I going to control Terex's mind with those puny bands? Ah, don't worry, Genghis. When you wear this mind changer band, whoever wears the other one will automatically fall in love with you. Look who I have! Oh, great one, Asaurus! Excellent! Now imprison her in the holding chamber for safekeeping. You'll never get away with this! Ouch! But we already have! <laughs> now all I have to do is send Terex a ransom message and set up an exchange for the girl. Do you think she'll go for it? If she ever wants to see her miserable friend again, she will. <laughs> I hope there's nothing wrong with Sarah. I can't get hold of her, and she said she was coming right over with some important news. Yikes. What now, Genghis Rex? You. I thought we straightened that out earlier. Not quite. I said I will have you, and I will! Your claw in matrimony in exchange for the safe return of your precious little mammal. Sarah? All right, Genghis Rex. You win. Just don't harm Sarah. A shuttle will pick you up at the same spot as earlier. Leave now, and don't be late, my love. Oh, no! What are we gonna do, Terex? You can't marry Rex! I have no choice, Dago. I can't let them hurt Sarah. But Terence, you can't go yet! At least wait for the others to come back from patrol! Allo will know what to do! There's no time to wait. I must go now. What am I gonna do? This is terrible! Oh, I wish... 
wish Aloe was here. <laughs> Okay, now, Stego, get a hold of yourself. These are your friends in danger. Bride has arrived. Okay, Genghis Rex, you've got what you want. Now let Sarah go. Do you think I'm stupid, my beloved Terex? Well, I'll let the mammal go and you become my bride. You'll never get away with this, Rex. I already have! <laughs> Imprison her with the mammal and put these on. You'll be needing them. Take her away! Come, my little Hedgesaur. Help me prepare for the ceremony. Now, where could they be holding Sarah and Terrence? Don't try anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Huh? Terex, am I glad to see you. But you shouldn't have come. Now they're going to make you marry Rex. Sarah, I had to come. I couldn't let anything happen to you. Oh, Terex. Sarah. Loosen that up, you idiot tops! <laughs> Sorry about that!
by my side, my beautiful bride. What is the meaning of this? This is an outrage! Does this mean I don't get to rule by your side? Don't abandon me, Rhett! Stego, you'll regret this day for the rest of your life! Seize him! Huh? Leave him alone! Don't move or I'll shoot! <gasps> to solid stone should hold them off for a while. Now let's get out of here. Get away from me, you Moshasaurus! Oh, oh Rex! Ah! Hurry, Stego! Get this thing moving! But I don't know how to fly this thing! Oh. Hurry up and break down that door, you useless imbecilidons! Dango, you'd better get us out of here! They're coming! It's too late! They're gonna get us! Here goes! Beam. They got us. We're doomed. Well, we won't go without a fight. You were the Tyrannos. You thought we were the Tyrannos? We thought you were. <sighs> Are you all right, Terex? What happened? I'm fine now, Icky. As for what happened, it's a long story. I wouldn't mind hearing it. Well, maybe someday. But in the meantime, Rex is going to have other things to worry about besides us. <laughs> Come on, my little Rexy Wexy. Somebody do something! Somebody get him off my case! Somebody! Make him cut it off! Oh, would you, would you come to your own end?
become monsters and spit you into open graves. Slam the coffin on dead bread. Watch out, Max. The Hand. The the heroic battle conqueror versus the evil double demon. The super warriors with swords that lash, missiles that crash. And if you dare, inside the warriors, the battle rages on. Mighty Max Hand and Battle Max figures sold separately. Figures do not move by themselves. Cool things happen in the morning with the warm, appealing taste of Kellogg's Pop Tarts. What's so hot? So hot. Hey, what's up? Part of this complete breakfast. As if drinking Pepsi wasn't rewarding enough, now they have a gotta have it card. Welcome to Blockbuster City. It gets you lots of great deals, like at Blockbuster Video. Rent three, get one free. A musical? A mystery? A cartoon, Cindy? May I suggest the video, Cindy? Can you believe all the attention you get with this card? Excuse me? Do you have Cape Fear? Uh, here, uh, take ours. Thanks. Is this a great card or what? We gotta get one of those cards. The Pepsi Gotta Have It card. Look for it wherever you buy Pepsi. Charming example of the urban underclass. Grease pit. <laughs> yeah, boss. A set about making it worthy of condemnation, would you please? Huh? Destroy it! Oh, yeah, 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 you got it, boss. Oh, and by the way, dear boy, places like this are often rodent infested. A perfect place to set up Operation Mousetrap, wouldn't you say? Gotcha, boss. That's a surefire mouse attractor. Now, for the real thing. Oh, Charlie, do we gotta do this? Yeah, come on, babe. They didn't cover floor scrubbing back in cool school. You're the ones who spilled the transmission fluid. Besides, I'm busy. Emergency, emergency. Fires and explosions at 15th and J Street. They're playing our song. Come on, bros, let's ride. Oh, no, you don't. This time, I'm getting in on the action. I've got it! Uh, 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 sorry, Charlie girl, but this is a job for men. Studly men. Such as ourselves. Especially me. Oh. Hold the board, babe. We'll be back. <laughs> Let's rock and ride! Oh, those mice. Someone sure did a number on this place. Yeah, and I bet that number adds up to one big fat cheese. Limburger. Help! Someone help Guys, me! Guys, there! Help! Help! Someone help me! Someone's trapped. Come on! Help! Help! Someone help me! Someone's been pulling our tails. Ain't nobody trapped here. I can fix that, mousies. Can't move! Now we're trapped! Talk about your male bonding! <laughs>
Say, doll, want to watch me stump some goons? Mono, see if you can get those fire trucks in here. No problem. Feels right at home. Mama! Sweetheart, you are awesome. Whoever you are. Uh, I wanna go home. <laughs> oh, showed him, huh? Dog? Dom? Where'd you go? Hey, Charlie, we're back. Oh, the place looks great, babe. Any more of that root beer left? So, did you save the city again? Or did you doubt? Hey, not only did we save the city... But we met the single most awesome banker, babe, in the entire universe. Whoopee. Hey, she looked cool. She looked rad. She looked cool. She, she looked rad. She looked cool. cool. She looked rad. I don't really want to Oh, boy. A grace bit. You screwed it up again! Sorry, boss. Well, I have no time to deal with you now. Plutok is in desperate need of raw petroleum products. Now get out. Come, Uncle. Yes, your Mosinet. I need oil, lots of oil, by Thursday. Hmm. The local refinery should have more than enough your kingly curdledness. <laughs> and I know just the fellow to help us get it. Corona Cody, at your service, partner. Corona Cody has the unique ability to dissolve metal at a touch. That refinery will be slag and thicken. You... You... Hmm. Will this talent of yours work on other metals, like motorcycles? Sure as shoot, partner. Excellent. This looks like the place. All right, partners. Let's start spilling oil. Trouble at Refinery Station 7. Mayday! Help! <laughs> hey, buddies! This is Sweet Georgie Brown. Now, here's Metallicrash with... Help! What? 
didn't know they did a Beatles tune. That's no song. That's a distress call. The indicators say it's coming from the refinery. Let's go. Uh, no dice, John. Mm -hmm. This is macho muscle He-Man work. Remember? I noticed you left the part out about brains. Hey, it's for your own good, Charlie. You might get hurt. Say, maybe that masked motorcyclist lady will be there. Oh, yeah. Hey, if she can do it, why can't I? <laughs> <It's> cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Charlie, we think you're the best motorcycle mechanic this side of Mars. But the masked motorcyclist is really something special. Look, let's face it, sweetheart. It takes some Mondo motorcycle madness to pull off the stunts she does. I hope you're listening to yourself. I'd love to record this. Hey, speaking of recording, you got your camera, Vinny? Oh, you bet, bro. Gotta start chronicling my exploits for posterity. Okay, enough talk, guys. Let's ride! Oh, what a bunch of wrench heads. you boas don't have much use for doas. My, my, my. Looks like the old gang again, plus one. Ha! I didn't know you could add, bro. Huh. I may not know everything about math, but I know how to total things. I think it's time to knock these mangy prairie dogs down the side. <sighs> Feels like Limburger sitting on me. Say bye-bye to the rat race, Mousy. <laughs> Yeah. Pretending you see something behind me? You won't catch me falling for that old trick. I gotta get some health insurance. Hey! Hey, wait! I wanna thank you! <laughs> She's crazy for me. I can tell. Ma'am, that's one righteous horse you got. I'd sure like to check out your bike sometime. Wow, what a piece of work. And the drivers are not bad either. Time to vaporize them vermin. Yow, that thing's nastier than a shark with a machine gun. I think we better go fishing. Wahoo! You're messing with the baddest mamma jammas from Mars, you metal meathead! Yeah! What he said! Quit hosting around, we say it! Ventilate them dang bollocks! Keep your hands off at the control! You keep your hands off at Trolling for the big one. Let's make this look good, bro. Come on, I got a babe to impress. Yo, they're gonna rev us. Chicken! <laughs> Get the way, dog. <laughs> Woo, we put a live one. Let's get real. <laughs> hey, this one's a keeper. Get us out of here, you idiot! We're too heavy, I gotta dump the load. Wahoo! There she blows! Where's that rocket lever? Busy pod! Stop touching things! We gotta get out of here! Dang! Charlie will never believe us about the one that got away. Hey, speaking of which, where's that masked motorcyclist? Oh, oh man, she split again! Oh, maybe I'm just too cool and too handsome and stuff. <sighs> Makes her nervous. Yeah. Or maybe it's just your incredible humility. Mm hmm. Could be, you know, could be. <sighs> Always got an ego bigger than Limburger's rear end. But at least I had this baby running. Let's go strike some prints of my new princess. <laughs> About time. I have other things to do, you know, besides... Oh, yeah. What a night. What a fight. What a dog. What a bike. What a bunch of... So, I suppose Ms. Wonderful was there again tonight. <laughs> was she ever? Yep, that lady can cook all right. But you know, one thing makes me curious. How does the masked motorcyclist always know? Oh, hey, these things are cold. Well, excuse me. They 
Maybe you should ask your hot bimbet buddy to warm him up. Oh, holy moly. Something we said? Failure again. If I don't obtain a vast quantity of oil soon, the high chairman will render it from my hide. I must find another source of oil. Uh, you mean like an oil field, Buzz? Mmm, oil. Crude oil. <gasps> I've got it! An oil field! I'll go straight to the source. Yes! Truly, I am a genius. <laughs> yes, yes. Carbuncles! You bellowed your malodorousness. I'd like an oil field, Carbuncle. All of it. No problem, old rounded one. As a matter of fact, I have just this moment imported Corroda Cody's Rustmobile. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. It should enable us to destroy every derrick in an oil field, creating a huge spill for you to <gasps> suck up and ship to Plutarch. Excellent. And if those blasted by Kamai send their psycho sidekick barge in again, them hombres will see how much fun their pretty pipes are when they're nothing but puddles of slag. <laughs> Motorcyclist is a mean motorcycle, Mamma Jamma, huh? <laughs> Heck, she's almost as cool as me. <laughs> almost. Oh, your move, Vincent. And <laughs> no way she could just jump that bike of hers. Jump, 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 jump. Hey, that was my last man. You think that's jumping? Watch this. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Who says Chinese checkers is a quiet game? I've noticed that none of the games we play are quiet. I hope we didn't wake up Charlie. Nope. Still asleep. Hey, what's that? That's Moore's code. What's it say, Moto? It says... Beep, 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 beep. Wait, she wants us to follow her. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow her anywhere. Oh, sweetheart! Ooh, should we tell Charlie we're going? Nah, she's out like a light. Let's keep it that way. Let's rock and ride. Hey, it's the biker mice. And that itty friend of theirs. Stay clear of that guy's rose. All the oil in the world won't stop his rust. Get to work, Cody. Greasefoot and I will handle these wretched rodents. You got it. Y'all yeah, keep them busy. And me and Rusty, you'll take out the main derrick. Once that thing blows, y'all gonna have more oil than you ever imagined. <laughs> Monsters ain't so slick. Come on, guys. Uh, and, and you too, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, you could shred with the best of them, babe. Heads up, Rose. Cody's almost to the main Derek. We best take our leave. When that Derek blows, the resulting wave of oil will wash away these vermin for good. <laughs> now, let's give old Grease Pit a barrel of laughs. <laughs> we'll have him rolling. Oh, yeah, take this, Mousy. <laughs> I don't think this would be a good time to ask Mr. Limboy to get a raise. Well, that should hold him for a while. Bruce, look! Oh, no. Charlie, Charlie, wake up! It's a mass motorcyclist. She's hurt. Her helmet's melted. Come on, we're trying to get it off. We need your help. Charlie! Charlie? Charlie? Hi, guys. Surprise! Charlie! But, but, she... But she was... You are... I'm just ordinary, huh? Would just get in the way. Wasn't that how you put it? Uh-oh. You could have told us. I did tell you, you adorable fur brains, but you never listened. It was my new prototype bike for Washington. I figured I could test it out <laughs> and prove something to you lummoxes at the same time. Well, you did that all right. Me and my big mouth. Yep. Your foot fits inside it very well, if I do say so. Hey, we owe you a big apology, babe. At least. But Charlie, I, I mean, the reason we didn't want you with us is because you might get hurt, and you did. I don't want you getting hurt. Moto, you and the guys all run risks. The point is, I didn't get hurt because I'm a woman. I got hurt because I did something dangerous. Oh, and I think I'll retire for a while. Well, you still proved your point. I guess none of us should judge a book by its cover, even if it is leather-bound. Please. Say, but what about Limber? It's a shame to think he'll get away with all that destruction. Now, on the way back, I sent him a package. Special delivery. Oh, what's this? No! 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 Oh. Perhaps I should get into a new line of work. Crunchberry cereal zip, munching that cranked up berry can. Wait. We're gonna be extinct. Maybe some more crunchberries will help you get the picture. I've got the crunchberries. And how about this picture? Cool! Picture perfect crunchberry cereal is the colorfully crunchy good part of a balanced breakfast. Time for another bite. Sounds good to me. You and the captain make it happen. There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Venkman, Steph, and Spangler are here. So are these ah. ghosts. They've got exoplasm. We've been gooped. Now what? Stay puffed, Marshmallow Man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate Neutrona Blaster. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Peter Venkman, Ectoplasm, Stay puffed, Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. Just a cheetah here. Now there's a cheesy snack so hip, it's on everyone's lip. New Cheetos Wild Fangs. They're giving me serious hunger pangs. It's like kids. Rhinos. Orangutans. Whole dang gang's got wild fangs. About time I got mine. Serious hunger pangs call for new Cheetos Wild Fangs. Cheese-flavored snacks. The cheese that goes crunch. 
particular. My name's Finletter, Chad Finletter. I'm a kid. It looked like a dull day, just a bit of a breeze in the air, or so I thought. There he is, fellas. We got him in our sights. When I give the order, we make the drop. <laughs> Not yet. Keep peddling. I had to meet in the shade until I asked myself, where did the shade come from? But when I looked up, it was gone. Senor Graziano, what's wrong? They crash through my roof. They fall into my press in a the plant. They jam up on my press. What did? Uh, tomatoes, huh? Uh, uh, tomatoes, huh? Oh, oh, you mean tomatoes. That's what Senor Graziano says. Big ones. They fell through his roof and gunned up his olive press. It's a tragedy, eh? It's a catastrophe. It's a... Spumani pizza. Eat. It will make you feel better. Well, the die is cast. The gauntlet thrown. The writing's on the wall. It says war! No, not exactly, Uncle Wilbur. You see, the tomatoes are just sitting there. They're not attacking. So technically, it's not war. I mean, that's what Mayor Earwax would say. And you know, you can't fight City Hall. Oh, no? Charge! Hey, how about a summer fudge sauce with my pizza, huh? Bunglers, fools, produce section dropouts. You cannot do the simplest job like rub out one measly ten-year-old boy. Ten, boss? I thought he was twelve. Twelve, eighteen, 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 eighteen,
and fetch my tomato war surplus bazooka to sand zucchini faster faster You're not gonna fire a loaded gun? Of course not. I'll just aim it threateningly and, uh... Ooh. I really am sorry. Seems like we're always the fall guys. Say, where are we? Yeah! Oh, false alarm, guys. We're safe as tomato bugs in a rug. Welcome to the San Zucchini Sheriff's Station. You see, this place has been abandoned for years, since the days of the bootleggers. Seems nowadays they don't need a sheriff in San Zucchini. Things are too dull, except for the occasional tomato war. <laughs> hey, quit hogging, will you? Jeez, one ounce of fertilizer doesn't go very far, does it? Uh, we may have to get used to being hungry. We're on the outs with gangrene. We got no skills except our basic rottenness. What's with you? What's in the garage? Hey, look, this better be... Look, car, clothes, guns! Very interesting. Listen up, see? We're in business now, see? Nah. That's right, see? Nah, nah, nah. Don't oh, put that down. I'm the mayor, see? Can you do as I say? That's an order, Finletter. Yes, Your Honor. Do oh, that's better. Now decide if a state of war exists. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, this tomato thing is so minor. Now just turn it over to the town sheriff. No, Your Honor. No! You can't, because there is no sheriff in San Zucchini. The town's so dull, it doesn't need one. Remember? Oh, of course I remember. Why wouldn't I? Do you think I... Uh, you forgot? Well, look, there's your answer. If the town's that dull, then this is some sort of a, a fluke. Can't believe me, nothing like it will happen again. Let's give this sleepy burg a taste of what's in store. They game, boys, and Splatter City Hall. I said the hall, not the window. Duck! Hey, duck in rabbit season? <laughs> Easy, FT. It is all over. Over? It's only just beginning. about it. Is this enough of a tomato incident for you? <laughs> oh, heavens, is my face red? And so is my office. Face it, Your Honor. San Zucchini does need a sheriff. <laughs> I have just decided San Zucchini does need a sheriff. And so I appoint uh, you. It's me? No, but I can't. I, I'd have to close up the pizza palace, and, and that'd no mean... Oh, congratulations, Sheriff. All right, we'll try it again. This time, see if you can hit the side of a building. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. It's that ten-year-old and his pals. Whatever. Let's get out of here. That's them. They're getting away. Uncle Wilbur, what are you doing? My duty is sheriff. This car is illegally parked. It's also the mayor's. Hmm? Oh, right. I know. Turn and fire and 
see if you can hit something this time. They missed! Right! But they've given us the slip! Let's see. Why, it's the San Zucchini Sheriff Station. How convenient! <laughs> Deputy Chad Finletter. Deputy Tara Boomdier. Hey, uh, uh, would you like a whistle? <laughs> Hiding out someplace is a gang of rotten tomatoes. But where? We're here, guys. Everybody out. Mission accomplished. Of course, we gotta brush up on our marksmanship. Face it, we ain't no Robin Hood and his Maid Marians. <laughs> what are you standing around for? Get to work. Squeeze out some more ammo. You know, it's worth tinkering around with old hardware. I mean, who'd have thought you could put tomato juice in Tommy guns and have such a blast? <laughs> Whitley White here. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. San Zucchini, and all the ships at sea. Well, let's go to press. Dateline San Zucchini. The reign of tomato terror continues. Shopkeepers are at the mercy of these bloated bullies. The price of protection, fertilizer, and lots of it. Sheriff Wilbur Finletter and his elite force are on the job. Up to date and completely bewildered. More news. More clips! Film at 11! <gasps> Razzafreckin' frazzledrat! Those upsprouts! Muscle in on my turf, will they? Igor! Igor! What? My fedora. Yes, you got fatherliness. Gall! Hiding out someplace is a gang of rotten tomatoes. But where? San Zucchini, California. The day, it doesn't really matter. Nothing mattered till we tracked down the gang of five. It was my job to interview the victims. It's a bad. All the time they want a fertilizer, more fertilizer. Since I close up on my plant, this shop is all I have left. Graziano's Italiano Fuchapo. That's a nice. I tell you, a little short boy, I don't get to take it no more. If they come around one more time, get up back. <laughs> okay, big fella, you know what we're here for. Hand it over. I say a no. <laughs> no. And if I say a no, they say a no. And if he say no, we say no. You dirty rat, you're asking for it. Now you're really gonna get it. Oh, yeah. Well, I hear you guys' aim is not so good. It just got better. Ready? Whoa! Aim? Whoa! Splatter! <laughs> Top of the world! Shops on Fifth Street. Uh. Oh, make up your mind. Listen, you little flippity kibbit. We've all been under a lot of pressure lately, okay? Farrell! Farrell! FT, naughty tomato. Have you been playing with your food? Uh huh. Favorite flower candy. What's that? You say that the gang has fled and Chad has gone after, and we can easily follow because of the trail of juice that they left? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, it's just like talking to Lassie. No respect. No respect for the law. Hey, 
wait, I, I wasn't finished giving myself a ticket. Sam Zucchini, same day, a short time later. I tracked the gang to their hideout and... But shh, I better be quiet while I sneak in. You were pretty smart, huh? But we heard your narration. What's that? Your incomprehensibleness? And I realize you're in character, but I can't understand you when you mumble like that. Oh, all right. I said, here it is, the third act, and I still don't know where the gang's hideout is. Like, hello? It's for you, Master. A plot twist. Gang Green, Sultan here. We got ourselves a very annoying kid, and we'd like you to take him off our hands. Come on down to the Graziano Olive Pressing Plant downtown, and bring a ton of you-know-what. Ew, shall I bring around the van, Master? No, Igor. No fertilizer will change hands. <laughs> Bring me my violin. Rather, rather. Yes, FT. I see. Chad's skateboard. Let's sneak around to the side, for it would be foolish to try to go in the front. You're telling me. Chad, what are you doing in there? I'm locked in. They're planning to ransom me. For what? For money? Gold? I'd rather not talk about it. Uh, hey, FT, what's with the wig and dress? Looks like a pretty. We have a plan. Tomato minds think alike. Easy, Igor. Easy. The violin is an extremely delicate instrument. <laughs> 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 Try rubbing a bit of olive oil on those moving parts, guys. Ah, that must be the dock. Hello there, big boy. All the pressing plants in all the cities of the world, she had to walk in the mine. You have a gang. A gang must have a mall. I'm here for the job, short, round, and handsome. Sooner or later, everybody comes to Zoltan's. Oh, what lovely compost. The lady's got taste. Sit down, sweetheart. Let me tell you something. The problems of two people don't amount to a hill of fertilizer in this crazy world. Someday you'll understand that, but we'll always have San Zucchini. Salt? No, please, I... Say, what's going on here? <laughs> I thought so. Grab her, guys, and dunk her. Aha! Double parking! Hold it right there, copper. Your girl's inside the press, and she'll be pulp if I decide to start her up. You hold it, Zoltan! <laughs> You and your boys are through horning in on my action. Now you must face the music! Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. As I always say, it's worth tinkering around with old hardware. Take this bazooka. It is now loaded with the substance tomatoes fear most. House dressing with bacon bits. <laughs> so long, suckers! <laughs> Master, you're under arrest. Drop the gun, Gangrene. The jig is up and the squeeze is on. Excuse us, we're out of here. Tara, Tara, FT. soon. Oh, yuck. Is my hair all right? 
deputies. Attention! You've all done a fine job. Safe to say the crime spree is at an end. Oh, at an end. All right. Yes, sir. Might be a good time to hang up my club and go back to what I do best. Making pizzas. Oh. <laughs> but Uncle Wilbur, what about... Uh-oh, they're gone. Gone? How dare they? Flaunt the law, huh? Sneer at justice, will they? Faster! Faster! Traitors, I'll pound you! I'll puree you! Faster, Igor! Come back, all of you! You're all charged with... Fans, many of you have wanted to learn the words to our theme song, but things go by so very fast in a cartoon. Well, now here's your chance. Hit it, FT. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Do it. Okay. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. That's great, Tara. I'm rocking, Chad. From Gangrel's Lab comes forth each week the red bread monsters of which we speak, except when he has Security leak. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Sing it, Tara. I'm getting down now. Love that kazoo. Oh, isn't it a pity? Are you with us, guys? I'm sizzling. Tomatoes eating the city. Can no one stop this mutant fruit? Where will we find our brave recruit? Can we get big? On the dump parachute. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah, it was. One more time. Uh, no. uh, okay. <laughs> Hi, this is Weird Al Yankovic. Tomorrow is Weird Sunday on... The I'll be co-hosting the show with... Me, Chris Leary, and it's going to be the weirdest two hours of radio you've ever heard. If you're feeling up to the weirdness, lock in your radio tomorrow morning to the Fox Kids Countdown. The birthplace of all that's weird. In the beginning came the beasts and all that creeps, crawls, and flies. But nature lies, they're robots in disguise. Beast Wars, the next step in Transformer evolution is here. New Maximals, heroic animals battle the evil reptile and insect forces of the Predacons. They fight tooth and claw. Heroic Dinobot attacks. Morphs from Raptor Beast into vicious robot with spinning Velocirotor blades. Evil Waspinator full of venom changes like never before from insect to high tech and puts the sting on Cheetor. But there's more to Cheetor than meets the eye. Under the skin lurks a robot within with hidden weapons firing. But treacherous tarantula mutates and counterattacks. Charging, slashing, blasting. All new Beast Wars. The next step in Transformer evolution is here. And when you buy the Maximal Predacon 2-pack, you get a free Beast Wars comic book. Beast Wars! Each sold separately. the dark side. Get a game medallion and you could win one of million surprises instantly. Even a Star Wars speeder. Only at Pizza Hut, Taco Bell and KFC. Chris Jericho, I'm here to rescue you. Junior, I'm not the one who needs rescuing. I am never... Leaving this island paradise. Rescue your hunger with Chef Boyardee overstuffed beef ravioli. Sherlock Holmes. Bring Sherlock Holmes back to life. Back to life. It's elementary, my dear Watson. Sherlock Holmes in the time of second century. Sherlock Holmes in the time of second century. Case. 
Investing in the future means many things. To some, it means building personal power or wealth, no matter the price. Amazing! Hundreds of degrees below freezing and the vegetables still grow faster than I could have dreamed possible. The process works! We can grow food faster in a near vacuum and at any temperature. I could never have done it without you, Elsie. I'm the grateful one. You've changed my life in ways you can't imagine. But Hilton, what if your discovery fell into the wrong hands? <laughs> There's no way it can. Our secrets are safely locked away in our computers. And our heads. <gasps> Not again! I'm coming! Just a minute! Hilton! Don't open the door! No! <gasps> no! Tennyson. Excellent. So good of you to join us. We've been thinking, Mr. Holmes. Yeah, we do all the legwork, but you get all the fun. What they mean is, we like to take a shot at this detective stuff. Not just gathering clues, but figuring out what they mean, too. From the beginning. You mustn't underestimate the importance of gathering information. Without it, there is nothing to analyze. We know that. We just want in on the analysis. Very well. That's it? What's the catch? No catch. You may begin with this case. All right! Stella! <laughs> Holmes, is this advisable? Not to belittle their abilities, but they're awfully young to... Tut tut, Watson. They know my methods. Why not let them apply them? Holmes, about time you got here. And good morning to you too, Lestrade. Yeah, whatever. No time for chit-chat. I need your help. Correction, Lestrade. You need their help. Huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> Ooh, evildoers, beware. Humor me. Besides, remember this. The best assistant is a well-trained assistant. Hmm. Elsie Cubitt. Wife. Found her unconscious near the deep freeze. Cubitt Farms has been here five years. The Cubitts have been married for one. Hilton Cubitt's going to cryogenics for a thaw. It's gonna be a while before we get any answers out of him or his wife. Were there any witnesses? The room itself is a witness. Our job is to observe what it has to say and deduce what has occurred. Getting the computer running again seems to be in order. A Tennyson? Wiggins, why don't you check outside for signs of a break-in? Deidre can help look for evidence in here. Do you mind? This is still my investigation, not a class field trip. Of course. Please, proceed. Okay. If you must help. Wiggins, check outside for break-ins. Deidre can help in here. Just one set of prints. Leading away from the tank. And what does that tell you? That someone walked from the tank to the terminal after Cubitt fell in. Or after he pushed him in. A clue? Where? That's not a clue. It's a cartoon. Okay, copy it if you think it's so important. What are you doing here? Investigating a crime. Inspector Lestrade, New Scotland Yard. Now, what are you doing here? I'm here to see my cousin. My cousin Elsie. Where is she? By now, she's in New London Hospital with her husband. Uh, what did you say your name was? Slaney. Abe Slaney. And where were you this morning, Mr. Slaney? At my hotel. Can anyone confirm that? My pillow. I was asleep. <sighs> See here, I don't have to take this. 
I should be asking the questions. You've told us enough. You may go. What? Holmes? Don't leave town, Mr. Slaney. Hey, I checked outside for signs of a break-in, but... So good of you to stop by, Mr. Slaney, if you'll excuse us. What a creepazoid. Notice anything else about our Mr. Slaney? Lousy dresser. That's what happens when you live on the moon. You lose touch with what's trendy back on Earth. How'd you get that? His walk, the way he moves and breathes. I've seen it before. Sure, he's used to much lighter gravity. He must have gotten here in the last week not to have his Earth legs yet. Something else. He never asked what happened. Perhaps because he already knows. Meet me at the hospital. I just got word. Hilton Cubitt's awake. The last I remember is being at the farm with Elsie. There was a knock at the door. After that, nothing. Any idea who might want to attack you or why? My wife worried this morning that someone might try to steal my new process. It's worth a fortune in the right hands but I have no specific idea who might want it. Funny hmm. she brought that up the very day you were attacked. Uh, anyone in her background she might have been concerned about? I know very little of my wife's past. She wanted to forget it and asked me to do the same. What about a cousin, Abe Slaney? No, never heard of him. Elsie Cubitt's room, please. Elsie, aren't you going to welcome your long-lost love? What? <gasps> what do you mean she's missing? A stake out the farm! Now! I want those computers secured. I'll be right over. I have to go. Mr. Covet, I'm afraid your wife has left the hospital. What? But how? It seems she wasn't as sick as we thought. She's taken off. But why would she leave? We'll know that when we find her. But as of now, your wife has become a major suspect in this investigation. That can't be. You're wrong. So, we know now that there was no evidence of forced entry. But we found a second man's footprints leading from the freezer to the computer. Not Hilton's. I checked his shoes at the hospital. So someone else tried to break into the computer but couldn't. Oh yeah, show him your big find. I say. But what is it? Okay, I'm going in. Lights. I said lights. Oh, Zed. So much for voice-controlled lighting systems. What about Slaney? I know he had something to do with this. He could have been the one who made the prints and sent the email. Maybe they were plotting together. Elsie could have planned to steal her husband's secret all along. You're right. She must have known something because she warned her husband before it happened. But why would she do that if she was in on it? Maybe she wanted out or was planning a double cross. But do you have enough evidence to support these theories? Do you have enough facts to determine the truth? Files deleted. Mrs. Covet? <gasps> I had a feeling I'd find you here. <laughs> Well, the good news is, you're alive. Holmes is right. We're just guessing. Think. 
What do we really know? Once more from the top. Cubbit was there, his wife, and someone else. So here's Cubbit, and here's Elsie. No break-in, so we know someone let Greencracker in. There was a struggle. What else do we know? That an ionizer was fired, and Cubbit landed in the tank. Elsie ended up unconscious next to it. We know Greencracker tried to get at Cubbit's computer files. We know most of what happened. But we still don't know why. I think you've got it. The letter's in a secret code? But w w what does it say? So, what did you do with the files, Mrs. Cubbett? I erased them. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? Something so valuable and you just wipe them clean without a thought? I gave it a great deal of thought. Believe me. I've done nothing wrong. And nothing wrong? You're the main suspect. Why does your past begin a year ago? Why is everything before that a sham? As far as official records are concerned, you don't even exist. You don't have to answer. I have lawyers. They can- Hilton, stay out of this. You don't know what you're getting into. I, uh... I... I'm sure Mrs. Cubbett has told us as much as she safely can. If she has no wish to discuss her past on the moon... Who told you about that? You did. Your gesture is used to adjust oxygen intake on spacesuits used in the moon's mining colonies. I understand that under exertion or agitation, you must increase your oxygen manually. Research tells me it becomes a nervous habit in time. I've seen it done before. By a Mr. Abe Slaney. What's he talking about, Elsie? I've said too much. Is Tennyson sure this is the booth? It's awfully close to Cubbit Farms. Yep, and we checked every inch of the booth. This is the only place left to search. What are we looking for again? Holmes always says, look for something that doesn't fit the pattern. Something that doesn't belong. The message code's complicated. Maybe there's a copy, some notes. Hello, what's this then? Lunatic. It's a nightclub down by the waterfront. How do you know it has anything to do with the case? Just a hunch. And this? Hey, let's call Mr. Holmes. We'll be right there. Watson. Yes, I am familiar with cryptography having written more than one treatise on the subject. Very good. When cracking a code, seek the symbol that repeats the most. In English, E is usually the most common letter. You're on your way. And so are we. Come, Watson. Coming, Holmes! What are you doing? We can't go in there. They'll never let us in. If we wait for Holmes, we might miss him. Come on! Clear off, you lot. You, I'll have the formula. Soon. Just be patient. What? Shh. Ah, Mr. Slaney, wasn't it? Fancy meeting you here. You? What are you doing here? I might ask the same. I'm staying at the hotel upstairs. I thought... I thought I could find some old friends here that, that might help Elsie. 
I find your concern puzzling, since you are most likely one of the reasons Elsie left the moon. What are you saying? I've never been to the moon. Hmm, an interesting gesture. I've seen you do it before. I've seen it done recently as well by another person. Elsie Covet. My fighting skills may be centuries old, but they're still fair enough to stop you, Mr. Slaney. Please, I surrender. Very good, Tennyson. You know what to do. Send the message immediately. I'm sorry, Holmes. I lost him. Not your fault, Watson. He surprised all of us. How can we find him in all of New London when he knows we're on to him? Tennyson can help us there. Come, time is short. We have a trap to set. I've talked to my husband. He's convinced me to tell you everything. It would help if you could confirm the events of that fateful day. I went to the moon to work at Galaxy City. That's where I met Abe. He talked me into joining the rebel movement. But the rebels went too far. The price they wanted to pay for freedom was too high. Lunar shuttle departing from Gate 5. I left for Earth to make a clean start. I changed my name, erased my past. But one day I started getting threatening email messages. From Abe Slaney. Abe! You monster! He wanted my husband's formula. With it, the rebels could be self-sufficient, independent from Earth. Hilded came in and confronted him. They struggled, and then... I tried to pull him out. <laughs> Abe couldn't get Hilton's files. But I knew he wouldn't stop trying. I had to erase my husband's discovery before more damage could be done. Files deleted. I knew we could reconstruct them from memory. Abe would not win. And he will be stopped. Nice work, Holmes. Now, all I have to do is find Slaney. Then let the detectives who solved the case take you to him. Elsie? I got your message that I could have the formula. I knew you'd reconsider. Just like I knew you'd remember the code we used on the moon. Soon the formula will belong to the rebel cause. And the cause will thank you. <gasps> Flowers? Oh, for me? You do think of everything, Slaney.
You sent the message to Slaney? No, Tennyson did. He cracked the code and found an email address where Elsie could contact him. We just told Slaney what he wanted to hear. And Slaney came right away to collect. So, Watson, our young companions did a splendid job of solving the case. It was just a matter of getting enough facts to analyze accurately. I must admit, Holmes, I had my doubts, for which I roundly apologize to all. Talk is cheap, Watson. Nothing says I'm sorry like seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Fixer-upper. And I just the Beetle Borgs. You'll hang a curtain, you'll never know they're there. Cool. Gia, we're afraid of... Of course you're afraid. So I'll throw in the sonic laser with a pulse saber to fight the forces of evil. Evil? And because it's you, a Beetle Commander. We'll take it. Huh? I love that kid. Bendai. Action. Satisfaction. Lifting and shifting the donuts we bake This crazy contraption is starting to shake What? Hurry up! We've got to go faster It looks like we're having a Donut disaster! It's Donut Disaster! The wacky game where you roll the dice and get rid of all your donuts to win! But watch out! If it explodes, whoa! You'll have to start again! And you never know! When it blows! Oh, no. We can't go any faster! Donut Disaster! Stinger! Timmy, I'm from the Dream Come True Fantasy Foundation. You ready to wrestle? You bet! Mom! Dad! It's really him! Hold on, hold on! Now I'm ready. It looks so real. Don't count on Sprite to do anything but quench your thirst. performance review from Mr. Wiederspan, only, like, he wasn't Mr. Wiederspan. He was, he was like a, a woman or a cat. And it was saying, we have reviewed your performance and have found it to be flaccid and disappointing. And that's when I realized I, I wasn't wearing any pants. 
And then I was on the roof, and Carmelita flew by. So I ran to the edge of the roof, and I jumped. But I didn't have my wings on. And that's when I woke up screaming. <laughs> Crazy, huh? The meaning is very clear, Arthur. Always wear pants, always wear your wings, and don't fall for Carmelita. Sounds to me like he already has. Wow, we made great time. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't... <laughs> Don't worry about that. This is one of Dad's inventions. The disposable roadster. Wait, Elon. Here, Elon. We'll only eat lan be a minute, eat lan. Hurry, eat lan. Question. Why would ancient Aztecs be going to the movies? Answer? Forthcoming! Dear my darling, it's been so long, so very, very long. Every second has seemed like a minute. Every minute like an hour, every hour like a day. Yeah, day mushy. Week, Dick, week, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, oh, hi, Arthur. Like Carmelita. What are you doing here? You're following us. No, no, I was following a gang of Aztec warriors. Oh, that is so lame. Shh. Oh, we'll talk about this later. Go away. Ah, oh, Arthur, it's so sweet the way he checks up on you. Yes, yes, I know it. And you've been so very, very far from me. Every inch has seemed like a foot. Every foot like a yard. Every yard like a furlong. Every furlong like a mile. Every mile. I like see her, Eatlon. Wait, Eatlon. There's two of her, Eatlon. Carmelita? Y yes, Arthur? Uh, do, do you, um. C can I, um. Uh... Can I get you some popcorn? She's getting up, Idlan. Get the net, Idlan. Uh, love under siege. Where's the siege, Arthur? I'm ignoring you, Dick. Uh, Aztec warriors. Take cover, my love. Messer Schmitz at three o'clock. Yes. Yes. Siege. Siege. Dick. Carmelita, don't try to fight us, Eatlon! Ancient peoples, Lego, my partner! Oh, oh, she's got a boyfriend! Hey, down in front! Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> that does it. You pushed me over the edge. Prepare oh. to be conquered! <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, citizen. <laughs> Airport, Itlan! Step on Itlan! The Luftwaffe stole my girlfriend! The Aztec stole my sidekick! We know where they're headed. Yeah, but that was the Red Eye Express. No more flights till tomorrow. Don't be so sure. Man, your dad's 
wicked slick! Wally Eatlan, we're back, Eatlan. You brought her all the way in that, Eatlan? But you said, Eatlan. That's no way to treat Carmelita. She's, she's one of us. Release her at once. Carmelita, Carmelita. It's been 15 long years, and I, I never stopped thinking about you. You were beautiful. You smelled nice. And you didn't throw like a girl. Let go! Let go of me! Carmelita? Ooh, the years have not been kind, Itlan, to you, Itlan. I'm not Carmelita. Who are you people? What Itlan is with this fat rabbit guy, Itlan? Uh, Wally, man. Uh, it's the costume, Itlan. Th there were two of them. Uh, we... Fat? Rabbit? She was wearing the same thing, Itlan. It was dark, Itlan. Silence, Itlan! You, Itlan. What were you doing, Itlan, with Carmelita Vatos, Itlan? Nothing. We... Fat. We were just watching a movie. A movie, Itlan? Were your parents there? What? Well, of course not. Then it was a date, Itlan! You're her boyfriend! Take this wuss to the dungeon, Itlan! <laughs> what, Itlan, are we going to do, Itlan, with him? Hmm. What Itlan would the ancients do, Itlan? We'll consult the book. Itlan! Itlan! Incredible. Did you know the Aztecs were sun worshippers? And they used chocolate beans for money. Come on, how tough could they be? That doesn't sound right. Where are you getting all this from? This amazing book I bought at the snack bar when we stopped for gas in Texas. <laughs> Look! There's another Aztec ruin below. I'm bringing her in. They could make eclipses with their minds. They kept fire-breathing monkeys as pets. Man, those Aztecs did everything! Oh, empty. A slow night in Aztec City. Hola, amigos. What is it that you seek? Ah, who's that guy? I... I'm Cordoroy Cordova, man of mystery, and night watchman here at the park. We're looking for a bunch of Aztecs. Then I'm afraid you are 400 years too late. There are no more Aztecs in Mexico. Yes, there are. They kidnapped my best friend last night. Oh, those Aztecs. I hate those guys. Always with the Itlan, Itlan, Itlan. Oh, how annoying. <gasps> you know them? See, si, see, si. they are always stealing things from the ruined snack bar at night. Wait a minute. I thought you said there were no more Aztecs. Oh, these are not real Aztecs, amigo Azul. They are, how you say, falsos, Aztecos nuevos. Just a bunch of jerks who pretend to be Aztecs. Well, do you know where they live? See, si. I will show you on the map. Is not far by plane. Come on, chum, let's go. Tick. You called me Chum, just like you call Arthur. Uh, no, I didn't. I said uh, Carm uh, for Carmelita. Ah, 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 you said Chum. Tick, that is so sweet. <laughs> Sidekicks don't kiss. You're so, you're so not Arthur. You dress like Arthur. Oh, yeah, you're soft like Arthur, but you curve in all the wrong places. Okay. <sighs> Rise and shine, Eatlan, geek. <sighs> what are you? Ah! We've consulted the ancient tomes, Eatlan, and decided your fate, Eatlan. What have you weirdos done to me? We've prepared you for marriage, Eatlan. I sent for Carmelita, Eatlan, with the intention of making her my bride, Eatlan. So since you're so fond, Itlan, of impersonating her, a bride, Itlan, you shall be, Itlan. <laughs> you know, you know, I get it now. I, I get it. 
this is another dream. Yeah, yeah. Oh, am I wearing pants this time? <laughs> <laughs> As punishment, Itlan, for insulting the King Itlan on what should have been his wedding, Itlan Day, we will marry you to the lowest creature in the jungle, Itlan. And offer you both up to our god, Itlan. We're gonna feed you to the sun. <gasps> there's the crater. And there's this secret city. Let's, let's go, Wally! Put it away! Hey, hey! Let's go, Wally! Put it away! Hey! I hey, now pronounce you Breakfast at Lawn! Wow. Hey, this is actually pretty scary. Come on, Wally! No better, no better, no better, no better, no better, no better, no better! Ah! Ah! I'm circling the city. Do you see Arthur? Yes! He's flying right at us! Without wings! Dick! Is... is he wearing a dress? Oh, what is going on? Carmelita! The savages are shooting dogs at us! I'm not waking up. It's not a dream! Arthur! Going! Going! Oh! Okay, Edvon. Aztecs, after them! Carmelita, quick, do you have any more of your father's inventions on you? He, you know, something that might, uh, get us out of this. I've got some really good instant coffee, but... Carmelita? Justin? Eddie? Danny? Lloyd? Doug! You know these guys? Who are they? They're the Aztecs! No, they're really not... Not the Aztecs! The Aztecs! Definitely a dream. It's not a dream, Arthur. These are the Deertown Aztecs. It's my old grade school baseball team. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Lita, Lita, Carmelita. Okay, if this isn't a dream, then what was that creepy dog all about? Well, that certainly was some crash. Are you all right, Dick? Uh, excuse me? Uh, are you speaking to me? To whom else would I be speaking? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey, you're speaking. The book didn't say anything about talking Aztec dogs. You saved my life, Dick. And for that, I will be your loyal pet forever. It's the law of the jungle. Oh, I'll call you speak, because that's what you do. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we can have pets in the apartment. I'll have to ask Arthur. Arthur! My sidekick! My chum! I gotta save Arthur. Speak, you're wise. Tell me how to get to that secret city. Carmelita, it's finally you, Etlan. Wally? Wally Head? What are you doing in Arthur's wings? You like them? I wore them just for you, Itlan. What, what is that Itlan thing you keep doing? You, you don't like Itlan? I'll stop Itlan. Hey, everyone! Hey, guys! Listen up! I now decree that we stop saying Itlan all the time! Yes, sir, that Carmelita had talent. She could hit, she could throw. I a darn shame when she sprained her ankle right before the International Championships. We would have won for sure with her on the team. Well, you know, if we'd ever actually gotten to the game. Why? It... W what happened? Well, the kids, they were acting up on playing. Shooting spitballs, running around. You know how kids can be. Pilot, he, he just couldn't take it anymore and bailed out. <laughs> Name was uh, Corduroy, something or other. Uh, you can imagine what happened after that. <laughs> <sighs> Unsettling trend. We crashed right near these cool Aztec ruins. I had a book on ancient Mexico, so I knew all about this stuff. We decided to stay and live like real live Aztecs. Isn't it great? No parents, no school, no coach telling you what to do all the time. There was only one thing missing, Carmelita. You. Our star shortstop, and the only girl I ever loved. Now you and I can get married and... We can what? You know, just like you promised. You said when we grew up, you'd marry me. I was 11. I only held your hand once. 
And obviously, you haven't grown up yet. What are you... Sun-worshipping dog launchers? You face the tick! And his dog, speak! Get him, guys! Aztecs! 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 <laughs> neener, neener, neener! Stay back, loser! I've got a crystal skull! <laughs> speak! Cover your head! <laughs> So we're tied nine nine at the bottom of the seventh. Two men on, and little Davy steps up to the plate. First pitch a floater high and outside. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Tick! Where's Carmelita? <laughs> well, the guy with the big hat took her. And he's wearing your wings, man. That does it. He's history. Tick! Get us out of here! My temple is crawling with them! Right. Then, uh, press on, boys! <laughs> uh, snake hazard! <laughs> Hurry, boys! I'm your human bridge to safety! It's all in the timing, chum. Ready? Tick, no! It's hopeless! This place is a labyrinth of terror! Huh. I see your point. Time to unravel this Gordian knot! <laughs> Spoon! Let me at him! Come here, you! I'm gonna... What? Huh? Oh, looks like she threw only a little chin music. Way to brush him back, Lita! Well, a gal's gotta know how to take care of herself. I got your wings back, Arthur. Well, I hope you boys have learned your lesson. In love, there's a right way and a wrong way to do things. The right way is to take someone to a movie. The wrong way is to take someone from a movie. Because kidnapping is just plain wrong. And not only that, it's wrong in the eyes of the law. Wally, I'm pretty sure they'll try you as an adult. And I'm not talking about detention, neither. I'm talking about detention! And what have we learned about Aztecs? Well, nothing really. Because you can't trust everything you read, especially in history books you get from gas stations. But you can trust speak, right, boy? But, uh, Tick, you're not planning on keeping that thing. Ah, oh, boys, don't be a bunch of sore losers. Don't you have something to say to the Tick? Nice game. Nice, nice game. Nice game, man. Yeah, nice game. Nice game. Nice game. Yeah, yeah. Nice, game. Nice, game. nice game. Keel Stoker writes, Dear Tick, if carp were flying backwards in Spain and pandas were doing handstands in China, how much rain would my town get? This letter is clearly the result of too much spinning. I know kids love to spin round and round on the emerald lawns of any town USA. Why, I love a good spin myself! But you're spinning your tyke melon into a kaleidoscope of crazy! Keel, spinning and writing letters don't mix.